All right, so I'm going to go over how to set up your works cited in MLA format so that as you type, everything can be set up correctly. So this is the end of the paper, the make-believe paper. Um, this, in this case, is about Romeo and Juliet. And the last sentence has fallen onto the top of the fourth page. And there's all this room here where you could technically add something like a works cited. However, your work cited needs to start at the top of a new page. Uh, so you could just enter down to the top of a new page, but then later on, if you go back and edit or edit your paper, add or remove something from your paper, the top of your work cited won't automatically be at the top of the last page. Um, and there's a setting for that. So if you go to layout and um, right here on the line after your last line, let your cursor sit there, click break and then page, It'll take you here, and what it does is insert what Word calls a page break, which means that whatever you type after that page break will automatically start at the top of a new page. So after you type your works cited, no matter what you do in editing your paper, the works cited will always stay at the top of a page. Okay, so first let's start with our title, because our page number and last name are already in the header. Um, I'm going to go to the Home tab and then Center, and I'm going to type Works, plural, cited, because there typically will be more than one work that you're citing. And then after that, I'll left align for the rest of the text. The next thing you need to do is um, set a hanging indent, because you should already be double-spaced. If not, you should set that. Um, so to set a hanging indent, there are two ways, at least two ways that I know of, there may be more, to set a hanging indent. And one is if you can see your ruler. If not, you can go under View and click Ruler. Um, if you just take the left indent, or the hanging indent rather, which is the bottom part of this little hourglass shaped thing here, and move it over to the half inch, that sets the hanging indent for all your citations. Um, Additionally, if you can't get a hold of that thing or if it keeps pulling the whole thing over instead of just the bottom half, you can go right here to line spacing and under line spacing options you can click under special hanging and then OK. So from this point forward the rest of what you type should be set up with a hanging indent. And once you've typed all of your citations out, if you want to put them in alphabetical order, you can copy and paste and move them around or you can highlight them all and click this little A to Z button right here, which sorts a list in alphabetical order. So um, with your citations highlighted, click the A to Z button, make sure it's in ascending order and click OK. You'll want to, oops, it put everything in that way. You'll want to double check it because sometimes it'll make mistakes like um, using a quotation mark, say, as the first character and therefore putting everything that starts with a quotation mark first in the list. I think it's just a little flaw in their system. So double check everything, but it should put everything in alphabetical order for you. All right, so that's how you get it set up. We'll go over how to type different uh, types of citations in a separate video.